Hey there my lovelies, thank you so very much for joining me today and sharing your beautiful time and energy with me. I hope you're all doing really well. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to get your specific person to chase you, all right? Um, manifestation is really just a one-step process and the key component of this process is to live in the wish fulfilled. Sometimes it's called living in the end result. So this is what we're gonna be talking about today. So to live in the wish fulfilled means to be able to imagine in your mind's eye what it is that you desire, okay? So spending time thinking about what you want. So your desire is to be with your specific person, to have them chase you, to have their attention, to have them choose you, to have them love you, to commit to you, to have their energy coming towards you to receive that and how good that will make you feel. So this is what it means to live in the wish fulfilled. You wanna cultivate that in your imagination, right? What it is that you want. So it may be the case you've got a vague idea, you're just like, yeah, you know, this is my intention, this is what I want. So now the next step is to indulge that in your mind, okay? Indulge that and create it in your imagination, okay? What does that mean? What would they say to you? Imagine being with them. What would it feel like? for them to choose you, for them to be in relationship with you, how would you spend your time, okay? This is what you wanna do, and when you are imagining it, you don't wanna imagine it like you're looking at the two of you on a movie screen from the outside. You wanna embody it, okay? You wanna feel uh, what it is that you would feel in that moment, but you wanna be inside your body, okay, when you're imagining this, when you're imagining walking along the beach with them, or hiking with them, or walking the dog with them, or having a delicious meal together. You wanna to be inside your body experiencing those things with your specific person when you are imagining it. So living in the wish fulfilled is a very potent practice, okay? This is what brings us what we desire. Okay, when we have a wishy-washy idea about what it is that we want, we get wishy-washy results. So if we just have like a vague idea of just like, oh, I quite like this person, or even I really, really want this person, but we don't spend the time to imagine what it is that we want, then we will find it hard to manifest because you need to give the universe a kind of blueprint for what it is that you are creating. You are the creator right? You're not separate from God. We have been led to believe that we are separate from the creator or separate from God or from universal intelligence, whatever it is that you resonate with, but really you are part of that. You are a face of God. You are a facet of God energy, okay? So you have all the creative potential within you, and that creative potential is based in your imagination. If you can conceive it in your mind, if you can imagine it in your mind, then you can experience it in your life, okay? So this is the way that we do it, but often we stop ourselves from living in the wish fulfilled for, um, excuse me, by, we stop ourselves from imagining what it is that we desire because we fear disappointment. So many of us know, yes, we should be living in the wish fulfilled, we should be cultivating these imaginal acts of being with our person, and yet there's something inside us where it feels a little bit gnarly, where we get a little bit of resistance, where we don't do it, where we're not doing it kind of regularly, right? And we don't do it regularly because we feel like if we get into those feelings that we may experience disappointment and that's natural, but it's something that you have to kind of gently overcome within yourself, okay? because it is the only way to get what it is that you want. If you fear disappointment, you're doubting the universe to bring you your desire, okay? And when you're in a doubting energy, you're in a lack energy, and then you won't get what it is that you want. So just check in with yourself and see if you do have any of this resistance. You know, maybe you already know to live in the wish fulfilled, but are you doing it? Are you cultivating what it is that you want in your imagination? And if you're not doing that, ask yourself why. And what you may find is that there is some resistance there and behind that resistance is a fear of disappointment. So when you can face that head on, then you can jump in to creating those beautiful, um, 
scenes in your imagination, experiences in your imagination and connecting to them and you will manifest your specific person in super quick record time. So you can make a ritual out of doing this, out of creating these beautiful imaginal acts, okay? Creating this desire in your imagination and really kind of fleshing it out so it feels really real. So you can create a ritual out of that. So maybe you wanna spend five minutes in the morning, uh, just when you wake up, and five minutes just before you go to bed, maybe if you've got five minutes in the day when you can do that. To be honest, you can imagine what it is that you desire at any time of day when you're at the stoplight, uh, when you are in the queue in the grocery store, right, waiting to pay, you know, whatever it is, um, when you're in a waiting room, at the dentist, you can cultivate your inner vision, okay? Because that will only strengthen it. And that is a beautiful thing to do, that's a good addition, but the best way to do it is to set an intention to have a ritual practice of just being like, this is when I do it, however it fits in with your other responsibilities and your lifestyle, but um, as a suggestion, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, drop down into that and imagine what it is that you want and feel the feelings that you would feel if you were with your specific person, when they're looking into your eyes, when you, they're holding your hand, when they're holding you in their arms, right? When they're speaking words of love and affirmation to you, everything that you would love to hear from them, imagine them saying it to you and ultimately how you would feel, that it would make you feel like you're melting, that it would make you feel like you're flourishing or glowing, right? or just like full of love, whatever it is, connect to those feelings and you will see shifts in your 3D reality. It's important to combine your imaginal activity of cultivating this in your imagination with a mental diet. Right? A mental diet is where we go on a diet and we don't, in our imagination, with our thoughts. And we don't indulge those thoughts that come up in our mind of doubt. Okay, So perhaps we're thinking about all the things that have gone wrong, the fact that they've rejected us, ghosted us, ignored us, told us that they don't want anything to do with us, told us that they just want to be friends, that they're just not interested, whatever it is or the time when they ignored you, or the big argument you had, we can rehash all the past in our mind, but all we do is get into those feelings and it makes us feel a bit upset and low vibrational, and then we're resonating at that frequency. And the law of attraction states that like energy attracts like energy. So if we're in those kind of gnarly feelings, uncomfortable feelings, um, those lower vibrational feelings of lack, of loss, of disappointment, of jealousy, of anger, of resentment, right? We're just gonna attract more of the same. So you wanna go on this mental diet where when those thoughts arise in your mind, you can just push them away. You can kind of put them in a trash can in your mind and just say, no, that's not for me. Or you can say, stop, stop that thought in its tracks. And then you wanna get back to something which is in, a, in alignment of what it is you are creating in your manifestation, okay? So maybe a thought of an old argument comes up or a thought of them being with somebody else or choosing somebody else makes you feel upset. You just say no, you turn away from that mentally and you turn towards what it is that you do want. You imagine them looking into your eyes, saying that they love you, committing to you, saying something lovely to you, okay? And then instantly you're connecting to those feelings which are higher vibrational. You're gonna be vibrating at that frequency and that becomes your point of attraction. So this is an important point. You turn away from what it is that you don't want and towards what it is that you do want. The important thing to know about going through this process, creating your ritual, um, imagining what it is that you want in your mind, you know, fleshing out your desire in your mind as to what it is you want to um, experience with your specific person, is that you are not doing it to earn your manifestation. This is I get comments like this all the time. I've been listening to these affirmations or this meditation for three weeks. Where is my person? Right. Or I've been thinking about positive things, you know, for two weeks now, where is my person? We don't do it to 
uh, get any specific results, okay? We don't do this, it's not like kind of going to university to get a degree and kind of going through the process and doing the work and at the end of that you get your degree. It's not like if we do all these steps and do all these techniques and are a good guy or a good girl, and have done everything perfectly, then we get what it is that we want. It doesn't work like that. When you are creating these beautiful scenes in your imagination and connecting to it in your heart space, it's something that you do, right? And this is important. It's something that you do just for fun, right? In exactly the same way that when you watch a movie, right? You're watching that, you're watching a show on Netflix, you're watching a movie. You've got no agenda with that. You're not just like, if I watch this movie, then I'll get the love of my life. If I watch this movie, then I'll get a million dollars. If I watch this movie every single day, then I'll get my specific person, right? You do it just for the fun of it. You do it because you wanna get swept up in that, uh, that different world, okay? In that story, right? Because it's relaxing, because it's fun, because it's enjoyable, um, because it takes you outside of your current reality. This is why we do that. And when it comes to living in the wish fulfilled, we wanna do the same thing, right? We do it just because it makes us feel good. It elevates us, it lifts you up, it makes you feel more positive, makes you feel empowered, just because it's fun. When you can come at it from that space of this is something that I'm just doing for me as self-care because I'm the creator of my reality, because I'm in the driving seat of my manifestation, because it's fun for me, because it makes me feel delicious, then you are in exactly the right frequency, exactly the right energy to manifest your specific person. Whereas if you're coming at it from this energy, which 80% of people do, right? I'm just like, if I do this, I can earn my manifestation. If I work hard enough, I can earn my manifestation. It's not gonna work, it's an energy of lack. So it's important not to ask questions or kind of always be scanning for evidence. Again, this is all lack energy. Where is my person? When is this gonna work? Why is it taking so long? All of this is a lack energy. All you need to do is turn away from what you don't want and towards what it is that you do want and you just keep doing that, okay? Until your what it is that you want, that living in the wish fulfilled, takes up most of your mental space. It doesn't need to be something where you are perfect, you don't need to be perfect, but if you can cultivate it, if you can do it most of the time, then it is gonna work for you. So you just wanna do that, cultivate that in your imagination because it's fun. And then just get on with your life, okay? With living your best life, with creating your best life, with becoming your greatest version, excuse me, your greatest version of yourself, okay? so. You don't need to like be putting a lot of energy in like, how can I get them to notice me? How can I remind them that I'm still here? How can I get them to chase me? How can I strategize? Put all that energy back on yourself where it belongs and just be like, what can I do to raise my vibration? What can I do to invest in myself? What can I do to love myself more, okay? Uh, and invest in yourself, nourish yourself, okay? Put energy into yourself, it's gonna elevate you, it's gonna make you more magnetic. Maybe you wanna spend time with people who you enjoy being around, doing something creative, getting fit, working towards a goal, raising money for charity. Get on your purpose. What is it that you are here in this lifetime to achieve? Get on with that, okay? Get on with your life, what makes feel, you feel good, what's gonna improve your life, okay? Um, whatever your goals are, get on your purpose. You know, focus on your goals. That is the magic potion for manifesting. Focusing your energy on yourself, not looking outside of yourself for somebody to love you, somebody to make your life better, okay? All of this, focus on yourself and cultivating a beautiful life for yourself combined with those um, imaginal acts, imagining what it is that you desire, really fleshing that out until it becomes really real and it's really kind of solid in your mind. You're able to drop into it really easily. You will get results. The reason that you will get results is because the law of attraction is a law, just like the law of gravity, it is always in operation, it is always in action. So if you do this, if you can step into that frequency of kind of owning what it is that you want, owning your desire, then the external reality will line up to match your inner vision. It's a law, it happens in every instance, it will happen for you.
All right, that is everything that I have for you in today's video. Uh, let me know where you are at on your manifesting journey down in the comments. I would love to connect with you. I love to hear from you. Um, do give this video a like. If you want to find out more about manifesting a specific person, then I have got an eight hour masterclass. It's video training with me, plus we've got six meditations and a workbook. It's super comprehensive and it's great value in my opinion. So check that out if it resonates with you. It is linked in the description box. If you want to find out more about the resources that I have available, I've got some books about feminine energy and making yourself more magnetic. And also some uh, guided meditations and subliminals to help you on your journey. They are all linked below or you can find out more at my website, clairesummer.com. But I'm sending you lots of love and blessings. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.